1135, we are live on a Thursday. Josh Rosenberg, Sharon Williams here on San Diego Sports Leader Double X 1090. What a weekend. I'd say the main event is on the midway. You got the Aztecs, number 20 in the nation, going up against Syracuse, number 9 in the nation. You talk about a major challenge to start the season. High hopes on the Mesa this year as a lot of guys are coming back and a lot of guys are going to be making their debut. Tony Bland played for the Aztecs. Tony Bland coaches with the Aztecs. Tony Bland joins us on the Western Exterminator Hotline. Coach Bland, great to speak with you. How's your week going so far? It's going great. How you guys doing? Doing well. We're good. We come on the radio every day and we just talk about how much we love the team. We love everything, athleticism, shooters, you got size. But before the season starts, I got to ask you, what's your main concern right now? Uh, just guys playing together. Usually when you have a lot of guys that are very talented, um, you know, the hardest part is is making everyone mold together, you know. And, um, you know, I think coaches, that's one of his biggest trends as a coach, is, you know, having a bunch of talented guys and molding them together. But as far as, you know, things that, you know, you would, I would keep an eye for, with, that would be it. Tony, how about, you know, these guys on your team, they've had some success, the guys who've been here for a year or two now. They know what it's all about, getting to the tournament and having success in the tournament. But you are playing against Syracuse, Jim Beheim, the uniform itself. How much do you think the guys are going to play against, not so much the players, but the uniform and just playing up against Syracuse? I don't know. We got we got different uniforms this game. We got camel uniforms. So are you guys gonna rock the camels too? <laughs> are you gonna rock the camels too? Because I saw that with Syracuse. I don't, I don't know if the traditional uh, Syracuse uniform will, uh, will be a problem. No, <laughs> you know, I understand. Very like, literal. I mean, a, a lot of times, a lot of times, uh, games are won before they're even played. But I think our guys are, uh, you know, they're ready for a challenge. They look forward to it. Our guys feel that the program we have here. And can go head up with any program in the country, and I just think I think it's you know it gets us a little more fired up to be honest with you. Mm. I like to hear that. Now, Jim Beheim is such a big, legendary name, and you are a man who was recruited by Coach Beheim. Tell us your story. What's Beheim's approach with a young Tony Bland coming out of Westchester High School? How did Beheim land Bland? Be- Beheim is, a, I mean, obviously, like you said before, the uniform. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, you play for Syracuse. You get an opportunity to play for Syracuse. One of my best friends uh, was on the team, and uh, when I came in, you know, he took me. In, he took me into the Carrier Dome and he said, "Hey, it was empty." He took me in and said, "Hey, look, it's empty now, but it won't be a seat in here when we're playing. Do you want to play in front of that? <laughs> I forgot whoever else was the team, or do you want to play over there? You know, whoever else it is. So, you know, me, me." Closing my eyes and seeing and that I can play in a carry dome, that was the main selling point. Is that kind of the selling point that you do for the Aztecs? Via House Arena, very beautiful. The camp is very nice. Was that kind of your selling point, playing in Via House Arena? There is no comparison. The show, the Via House Arena, the people here in San Diego, I, I can't, no one would ever try to use that against me or recruiting because they know <laughs> hands down we have the advantage. <laughs> is it like Jesus Shuttlesworth? When you take these kids around, like he got game, or is it not that shady? Uh, <laughs> that's shady. That's shady. <laughs> shady. <laughs> <laughs> it's that shady. <laughs> Coach Tony Bland is joining us as the Aztecs get ready for Syracuse. All right, I'll ask you right now. You don't have to reveal, but do you know the starting five on Sunday? I don't. I was just, you know, I'm happy. I'm happy I had to call you guys because I was in a 17 hour meeting with the staff, Coach Fisher. And I think right before they got to it, you, I had to call you guys. So perfect timing. You know, Coach Fisher was on with Dave and Jeff a little bit earlier, and he was talking about going, you know, eight and a half deep as far as that ninth guy could play, could not, maybe five, 15 minutes, sometimes not at all. If everything is working well, how far into that bench do you think the team can go? That's that's tough because, you, you I mean, who's playing well that night? Right. You know, do, do, who do you put in? Is, is Dwayne Poli hitting his shots? Is Matt Strigley coming in bombing threes like he usually do? You know, is – James Rahan, the, the the James Rahan of all, like you don't you don't know, so it's hard, it's hard to say, you know, and that's why coach gets the big bucks. That's why I don't have to worry about it. I just get back and watch. <laughs> you know, you talk about guys bombing the threes and hitting the jump shots all over the place. I think that'll be a big time mo for this team throughout the year, especially going up against Syracuse. The vaunted two three defense. Okay, we all know about that. How often at off at all will you see Syracuse this upcoming weekend? Will we see Syracuse actually a man to man against you guys? I doubt we see a man to man at all. At all. I doubt. I doubt we see a man to man at all. We when I was there, we practiced man to man every day, mm-hmm. and I don't think we played it one <laughs> right. in two years. Let me you ask you this. I mean? Let me ask you this. I'm sorry to cut you off. How could how could a team have one defense 
one defense, never change it up, and it is so effective. I know the guys are long, and Bayheim coaches it very well. They extend the two, three, but how can they have one D, and it just stymies teams left and right? He's, he's very good at it. He's very good at coaching it. Their staff, Coach Hopkins, those guys over there do a great job at coaching that defense. They recruit to it. You know how some guys, most people recruit to their offense. I think mm-hmm. they recruit to their defense. If you're not long and athletic, I don't think you can play for Syracuse. You know, they have guys that, you know, you think, you think you have a shot because they're under the basket, but by the time the ball is in the air, it's probably somewhere in the fourth row. Right. You know? Yeah, so, yeah. Like, when you, like, like we learned two years ago uh, yeah, with, with, with Kawhi Leonard and Malcolm Thomas and Billy White, that length and that athleticism make up for a lot of mistakes. Aztec Syracuse Sunday battle on the midway, man. We've been waiting and waiting for this one. It's going to be great. Assistant Tony Bland is with us. You know, I have saw a little bit of Dwayne Poli at St. John's, and we watch video, and we just hear that he can leap, he can jump, he can dunk. But what is Dwayne Poli all about? Describe his game. Uh, high energy guy, very athletic, slash, get in the paint. You know, the best part about his game is, is, is right now, to us, he's a sponge. You know, this is the first time he's uh, played a wing position. He's always been a high post or a post, and he's learned. He's picking up so fast. Coach, we all love him. You know, we can tell Dwayne to run the stairs 56 times, and without <laughs> telling him why, he's just going to run the stairs 56 times. Oh, chill know? with all that. No thanks. I love it. That's the work ethic that <laughs> makes Aztecs basketball what it is. You know, Mark Ziegler from the UT wrote a piece on Jamal's work ethic. Jamal Franklin, that you were working with your buddy Trevor Ariza over at Peterson Gym in all of your years. Have you ever seen a guy with Jamal's work ethic where he is just so addicted to the sport? He loves it. And, and, and you probably guys probably saw my quote. He doesn't cheat the game. And a lot of times people try to cheat the game and they think they'll be able to get to the NBA without putting in the work. And I think Jamal understands that for him to get there, that he has to put in the work. So answer your question, no, I haven't seen a lot of guys who work like that. And, and, and you have to give Kawhi credit and you have to give people credit that he sat back and watched. He watched Kawhi work hard, and he's watching Kawhi have success in the NBA. So he knows that's where I want to be. This is the blueprint. This is how the guys are getting there. So this is what I have to do. And um, he's great at it. Tony, the first time you ever saw Jamal, the first time you ever laid eyes on him, did the letters N, B, or A ever come to mind? Not, not in my opinion, no. No, no, not in my opinion. Some, a lot of whole, whole bunch of other letters came to mind, but NBA probably <laughs> worked. <laughs> <laughs> well, we wish you the very best on the Midway. It is going to be so much fun. An incredible first game against Syracuse. Tony Bland played for Syracuse, played for the Aztecs. He recruits, he coaches, he does everything. Tony, great to speak with you. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Tony. Tony Bland.